Teachers often form strong bonds with some students, usually because they like the subject or connect with the teacher's personality. Sometimes, one student stands out and gets extra help and attention. There's a teacher who not only loves teaching kids, but also saved a parent's life. Nancy Bluer is a preschool teacher at Washington Charlie Brown Preschool in Child Care, and she truly is one of a kind. When a student, first named Camden, mentioned his father's failing health, she knew she had to get more information. As it turned out, Camden's father, Daryl Peterson, found out that he had renal kidney failure and that his kidney was only functioning at 20%. He was quickly put on dialysis, but would need a new kidney if he wanted to regain his health. He was put on the waiting list for a donor, but the only option he had fell through, and he was growing worried. After hearing Camden mention his father's situation at school, Nancy reached out to Daryl to see if she could help. When she found out, she started doing the paperwork immediately. Daryl recalled, fortunately, Nancy was a match. The preschool teacher was ecstatic, and of course, so was Cayman's father. It's just amazing. There are people waiting every day for a kidney, for an organ in general. I wish there were more people like her. She's giving me a second chance at life, Daryl said. Nancy's selfless act was not only appreciated by Daryl, but by his four-year-old son as well. He knows that this teacher is helping to save his father's life. She's an amazing lady. Camden gets the idea that Miss Nancy is helping his dad, Daryl said. The incredible teacher is just happy to help. However, it's good to know that I'll be able to go to Camden's high school graduation one day and talk about this and think. Well, that was crazy, she said. The surgery is scheduled for the beginning of June at the University of Yoa Hospital. We wish Nancy and Daryl a successful and speedy recovery, and we are sure Camden will be happy to have his dad feeling healthy again. It's so inspiring to know that there are people in the world like Nancy who are not only amazing educators who care about the future of our children, but would go out of their way to help save a life. What do you think of the story? Would you ever consider donating an organ to someone you barely know? This act is actually quite admirable. Being a teacher is a very noble profession that shapes the character, caliber, and future of an individual. Liz Brown is one of the world's foremost motivational speakers and thought leaders on self-improvement and goal setting. However, it wasn't always that way for him. Born in Liberty City, Miami, on the floor of an abandoned building, he has known struggle and hardship his entire life. Academically, Le was a struggling student from the get-go. The story goes that during his school days, he was labeled a jukeable mentally handicapped by the academic intelligentsia of his day and placed back from 6th grade to 5th grade. To make matters worse, he had a twin brother who was exceptionally bright and gifted, and as such Les became commonly referred to by his peers as the dumb twin. One day, a teacher asked him to come up and solve a problem on the chalkboard, but Les refused and said that he couldn't. Of course you can, the teacher responded encouragingly. Young man, come up here and solve this problem for me. But Les insisted, but I can't. I'm a jugable, mentally handicapped. The rest of the class erupted in laughter. At that point, the teacher stepped out from behind his desk and looked at Les straight in the eyes. Don't ever say that again, he told him firmly. Someone else's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Les never forgot those words and spent the rest of his life overcoming incredible odds and pursuing his goals with passion and fervor. Time and time again, thanks to that one teacher's powerful revelation, Les has lived a phrase he's famous for all over the world. You have greatness within you. Most people know Emily Blunt as a Golden Globe-nominated film and stage actress. However, between the ages of 7 and 14, she developed a crippling stutter that had her struggle to even hold simple conversations. I was a smart kid and had a lot to say, but I couldn't say it. She claimed in an interview for W Magazine, I never thought I'd be able to sit and talk to someone like this, like I'm talking to you right now. For Blunt, it was one junior high school teacher in particular that she claimed helped her overcome her fear of speaking by encouraging her to try out for the school play. What she was hesitant to participate in at first, Blunt resisted the idea, but the teacher wouldn't give up on her and coaxed her to take up acting lessons and experiment with different accents and character voices to help express herself. In the end, those efforts paid off for her immensely. Besides her impressive acting career, she also joined the board of directors for the American Institute of Stuttering. We should applaud teachers like her who have made a significant impact on their students' lives. Without these teachers, the students who are now grateful and successful would have been lost in the crowd.
If you enjoyed the story and found it inspiring, feel free to share it with your family and friends. We're also eager to hear your thoughts about the story. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our channel. Thank you for your support.